الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا وسل الله على سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا وسل الله على سيدنا محمد 
وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Eid Mubarak to our community, to our beautiful ISOC community. I cannot believe the month of Ramadan is over. It went by so quick. And what an amazing month it has been. Our community really stepped up. You guys supported ISOC, you supported each other, and you supported the poor and the needy in our community. We gave away iftars, we helped uh, we gave uh, 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 meals to the needy. We we practiced social distancing. We helped the, the SoCal community by flattening the curve. I could not be prouder of our community. We are truly a role model of how a religious community that knows its place in the world can fit and operate. And I'm proud of every one of you. Uh, thank you for your support to ISOC. Um, you guys gave generously and you guaranteed that ISOC as an institution will be there, inshallah, by the permission of Allah, will be there for the next generations. I could not be prouder for each and every one of you for supporting this amazing organization. On behalf of Majlis Ashura, the board of directors, on behalf of the staff, on behalf of the volunteers, on behalf of the ISOC family, I want to reach out to every one of you and, and wish you Eid Mubarak to each one of you Enjoy your day. Have an amazing weekend. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Was it brief? Yeah, sure. Did you mute? Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much, Brother Hassan. Eid Mubarak to everybody. Just have a few announcements before we get started with Dr. Siddiqui's uh, Eid message. Uh, he'll be starting just very shortly. Uh, Eid message titled, Lessons to Learn from the Coronavirus Pandemic. Just a few reminders. Um, hopefully you ha had a good start to your Eid day. Um, and you know we missed gathering all together like we usually do. We actually had a, a very nice program uh, planned for us this year uh, when we've started our initial planning uh, back in, in January, February. We had a uh, there's a new hall at the uh, Anaheim Convention Center, all carpeted. Uh, it was going to be a very nice and comfortable experience. We were looking forward to it, but um, we've got different plans unfortunately this year. Anyway, so if you have not. Uh, uh, done your eat prayer you can of course sometimes we run late to eat prayer when we're at the convention center we pray the second jamaat you can always pray afterwards um, the instructions are at eat.isocmasjid.org and please remember uh, pay your sadaqat al fitr ten dollars per person in your family um, there's also a link at eat.isocmasjid.org um, to pay your sadaqat al fitr online and at 11 o'clock, we will be hosting a drive through Eid celebration at ISOC. We've missed seeing our masjid throughout Ramadan. So this will be an opportunity that you can drive by, say salam to the masjid, come with your family with your cars decorated. And there will be uh, some treats that will be given out. There'll be donuts, goodie bags. You'll stay in your car. Um, it'll be all done with social distancing. Um, and then as you drive through the masjid, there will be uh, a professional photographer that will take a photo of your family sitting in your car. You can stick your heads out the window if you'd like. 
um, and uh, those pictures will be posted. Please note in terms of traffic flow, we would like you to enter from 11th Street off of Brookhurst. So off of Brookhurst, enter on 11th Street, and turn on 11th Street and enter through the gate on 11th Street. Uh, please do not enter from Cary or 13th Street. 13th Street will be used for exit traffic. Um, and um, you know, we've, we've uh, asked you to uh, sign up online, many of you have, uh, in terms of, so we could plan out better and control traffic. And we encourage you at this point, um, if you can, to come towards uh, later time periods, 1 p.m. onward, if you have not pre-registered online. And we would like to thank our sponsors uh, who made this Eid celebration possible. Uh, Al-Tayyibat Market, Al Islamic Relief, the Qaf Foundation of America, all of Community Services, uh, Dalati's Insurance, as well as uh, uh, Brother Shaquille and Sister Janina Siddiqui, as well as Abu Bakr Malam and Sadia Kibria. Uh, we have linked to our sponsors' uh, websites uh, on our Eid website, um, eid.iosusimajid.org. Please visit and, vi and support our sponsors as well. Um, and also, just a reminder, you know, pay your Sadaqat al -fitr. You can still donate online towards Power of 2020. Uh, we are very close to our goal of trying to reach 1,000 um, supporters. Uh, so uh, there's still time to give. Just go to give.iosusimajid.org and you can take care of any other donations for Zakat or any other um, uh, things you may want to donate towards ISOC. And, you know, with Ramadan coming to an end, we still want to stay in touch with you. Uh, so, you know, we have a variety of mechanisms, our, our social channels on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, et cetera. Uh, we've got podcasts that you can listen to. Uh, all of our events that we do record online, we've put them in podcast form as well. Um, you can always email the office, but the best way to stay in touch is to sign up for our newsletter. We send it out on a weekly basis, as well as any other announcements. Go to news.issmajid.org and subscribe if you are not already subscribed to our newsletter. And with that, we can now get started with Dr. Muzamil Siddiqui. Dr. Siddiqui, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa nwala. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. Allahumma inna nashhadu annaka anta Allah, la ilaha illa anta. Allahumma laka alhamd kulluh, wa laka al-shukru kulluh, wa ilayka yirjaw al-amr kulluh. Laka alhamdu hatta tarda, wa laka alhamdu idha radit, wa laka alhamdu ba'da rida. اللهم لك الحمد بما خلقتنا ورزقتنا وهديتنا ولك الحمد بكل نعمة أنعمت بها علينا لك الحمد بالإيمان ولك الحمد بالسلام وبالإسلام ولك الحمد بالقرآن ولك الحمد بالأهل والمال والمعافات ونشهد أن محمدا رسول الله سيد الأولين والآخرين وإمام المرسلين والمبعوث رحمة للعالمين أدى رسالة وبلغ الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده وتركنا على المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك اللهم صل وسلم عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وإن خال الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم يا أيها الذين أمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الذين أمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا All praises for Allah سبحانه وتعالى and peace and blessings upon his prophets and messengers, all the prophets and messengers of Allah. Eid Mubarak to all of you. Eid Mubarak to you on behalf of the Islamic Society of Orange County. Eid Mubarak also to you on behalf of the Islamic Shura Council of Southern California. Wherever you are, Eid Mubarak to you. 
Normally, when I give the khutbah for Eid, there are thousands of people in front of me. But it is not possible today. We hope, inshallah, Allah will remove this pandemic from the face of the earth and we'll come back to our houses of worship. We'll pray, inshallah, in our masajid and we listen to khutbahs and we attend, inshallah, the Eid gatherings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, bless your families, bless all our communities and bring the humanity to its safety and to its goodness, inshallah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa it is reported that he used to say, when he sees something nice, when it's something that he likes, he used to say, Alhamdulillah, ladhi bi ni'matihi tatimu salihat. Praise be to Allah, by his blessing, the good things are accomplished. But when he would see something that was not pleasing, that he was not happy about, he would say, Alhamdulillah, ala kulli hal. Praise be to Allah in that every, every situation. Today we are going to say both at the same time. Alhamdulillah bi ni'matihi tatimu salihat. Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. Alhamdulillah we completed the month of Ramadan. We fasted in the month of Ramadan. We prayed our prayers, taraweeh prayers. We recited the Quran. And we also gave the acts of, we did the acts of charity give our zakat and sadaqat, and many good things, alhamdulillah, we did that. Alhamdulillah, we've had the, the, the month of Ramadan with our families. But at the same time, we are now in pandemic. And this is a crisis. This is a terrible thing that is happening. So we say, oh Allah, protect us and help us remove this affliction from us. But Alhamdulillah, whatever left, whatever you decide, Allah, whatever is your will, we praise you for that. We thank you, Allah, for that. So my brothers and sisters, it is important to count the blessings of Allah and it's also important to pay attention to what is happening in the world, what is happening in our surroundings. Inshallah, we hope and we pray that things will get better and we will be able to come back to our masajid with the safety and security of everyone. Inshallah, we are waiting for the guidelines that will be provided by our state, by our local authorities, medical authorities. And as soon as those guidelines are there, Inshallah, we'll try to see how we can implement those guidelines and open our masajid, Inshallah, for regular prayers. We thank our community. We thank many volunteers and supporters who help the poor and the needy and organize alternate programs and worked hard to keep the community busy with many activities throughout the month of Ramadan. Ramadan, my brothers and sisters, brings many, bless many blessings. Its blessings are spiritual, moral, and material. Its blessings are individual and collective. Its blessings are here in this world and inshallah in the hereafter. The spirit of Ramadan is faith, iman, discipline, humbleness, thankfulness, and charity. Ramadan connects us to our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We fast, we pray, we read the Quran, we do the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ramadan connects us to our families. We pray together. We eat together. We fast together. And we do many things together, alhamdulillah, especially in the month of Ramadan. Ramadan connects us with our community and with our masajid. This time we were not able to come to the masajid, but inshallah, we will come back. Our hearts were here. Our hearts were in the masjid, but we were not physically here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring us back, inshallah. Ramadan connects us with the poor and the needy. We try to help them and help any good causes. We need the spirit of Ramadan all the time, my brothers and sisters. And that is for our own benefit, for the benefit of our families, for the benefit of our community. 
and for the benefit of humanity. The spirit of Ramadan brings goodness everywhere for all people, for all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So alhamdulillah illadhi hadana lihaza wa ma kunna linahtadi alawla an hadan Allah. We thank Allah that he guided us to this way of life. And you would not have been guided without the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now I would like to say a few things about the lessons that we can learn from this coronavirus, from this COVID-19. It has shaken the whole world and it is still with us. And this morning I was reading in the newspaper that more than 100,000 Americans, people in America have died because of that. Almost 37 million people are out of jobs. So it has affected economy, it has affected the life of the human beings. A lot of people are suffering at this time. So we should remain conscious of our Lord. We should remain conscious and connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek his forgiveness. Seek his forgiveness, make istighfar, make tawbah and turn to Allah. Because no one has power to remove the difficulties However powerful we might be, whatever may be our strength in military, in, in finance, and other things, ultimate power is in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no might, there is no power except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should keep our connection with Allah, seek His protection, and recognize our weakness, our humbleness, our shortcomings, our dependence upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is Allah who can change the things. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can bring the goodness. Also, COVID-19 should make us more faithful, more humane, more human, and more caring and kind to each other. We human beings have not been very kind to, us, to each other. We have been ignoring the plight of the poor and the needy. I hope this experience will change us, make us more humble, more human, and more caring and kind towards others. We learned in this period of time the importance of our families, importance of our homes. So we should be thankful to our spouses, should be thankful to the parents, should be thankful to the children, should be thankful to our neighbors. We should be thankful to those who delivered food to our, our homes. The people who provided many services to us during this time, and they are still doing that. And we also should be thankful to the technology, to the new ways of communication, teaching and learning. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this. This technology is available. If it would all been there, that you can see how difficult it would have been to communicate. But alhamdulillah, we are communicating. So this technology is good. And we should use it for the right purpose, for the right cause. And also we should thank the medical science that has helped us to know about this horrible virus and how to take care of ourselves and how to stop or, or, or contain it in itself, not, so not to spread further. We recognize, especially in Islam, Islam teaches us that faith and science can work together. Faith is not against science and science is not against faith. We trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we also we use the means to protect ourselves. As our Prophet said, that you iqal wa tawakkal. Somebody asked the Prophet should I leave my camel without tying it and have trust in Allah or should I have trust in Allah and tie? The Prophet said, tie your camel and have trust in Allah. Iqal wa tawakkal. So that is, should be the spirit of Islam. That is the spirit of Islam. And that's what we have to learn. We thank our doctors, we thank the health providers, we thank the caregivers, we thank the hospital, and they are providing a lot of services during this crisis. There are also things that we have to change, correct ourselves, because coronavirus has exposed many shortcomings of our domestic and global medical support and distribution system. If we realize that how ill-prepared we are to face a major crisis, although with the, with the knowledge that we have, the technology that we have, the money and the resources that we have, 
it should not have been that way. But it looks like pe people have not been much attention to this thing. So it is important, it has exposed us, exposed our weaknesses, exposed our, our shortcomings. So it is something that we have to learn. Coronavirus has exposed the terrible mismanagement of our and many governments. There is a terrible blindness on the part of many governments and the lack of vision in allocating our resources for the health programs. Our governments spend far more on weapons and on wars than on medicine, on medical care, on education. These are the areas where the resources should be put more rather than on military. But unfortunately, you have trillions and trillions are used for military development, for weapons purchase, for weapons production, but not as much on, on, on health and education. Coronavirus make us and our governments realize the importance of cooperation and working together. A lot of poor people are suffering in America. The highest casualties of this virus have been in the poor areas. How important it is that we pay attention to the poor areas and take care of the people. And also we have to work for the safety and well-being of the humanity and global environment. Because many of these viruses are coming because of the neglect of, in, of environment, not paying attention to the environment. So may Allah SWT guide us. We are thankful, but at the same time, we also understand we have to learn from this uh, situation and correct ourselves. I would like to remind myself and you, keep the spirit of Ramadan alive and active. Let us remain united. Let us work for justice and peace for all humanity. Let us be active in social services, always helping the poor and needy. Let us build alliances, interfaith relations, racial harmony and peace. Let us work to remove misunderstandings about Islam and Muslims from the minds of our fellow Americans. And especially to our youth, I want to give you this message that pay attention to your studies. I know your studies are interrupted because of this uh, issue, but pay attention. Even at home, with your parents, with your mother, with your father, with your brothers and sisters, try to work so that you don't miss it because education is very important. Pay attention to your education, work hard, and remain connected to your faith and to your families. And all of us, Allah SWT says, you are for the benefit of mankind. So my brothers and sisters, we, the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we are not only for our self-interest, we are for the interest of the humanity. Let us work for the interest of all people. Let us bring the humanity and help the humanity, help the humanity to work together and bring peace and justice towards all. Inna ladhina qalu rabbuna Allahu summa staqamu tatanazzalu alayhim al-malaikatu alla takhafu wa la tahzanu those who say our Lord is Allah and they stay firm, stay straightforward. The angels come down upon them, giving them the good news, have no fear, have no grief and be and receive the good news of Jannah that you are promised. If you help the cause of Allah, Allah will help you and strengthen you. واتقوا الله لعلكم تفلحون وآخر دعوانا عن الحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. This is the Eid al-Fitr. If you have not paid your Sadaqat al-Fitr, please do so. Although it's time was before the prayer, but even now you can, you can do it, you can make qada. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept that from you. And it is $10 per person in the family. And also, 
consider your Islamic society of Orange County, your masjid, where you pray, consider with you for your donation. We thank you for helping in this power of 1000. It's almost done. We have reached almost to about uh, 900 people. Uh, so it will be very soon, inshallah, we can reach to 1000 target. So please help us. This is $100 per person in the family to help your Islamic society of Orange County. This has been our tradition for many years that people have been contributing, so please do so. Also, uh, remember at this time, people who are suffering and people who are in difficulty, may Allah SWT remove their difficulties. So ask Allah SWT, let us make dua. Allahumma inna nasta'inuka, wa nastaghfiruka, wa nu'minu bika, wa nastawakkalu alayk. Allahumma inna naltajuhu ilayk, anta rabbuna, wa maulana, anta khaliquna, wa anta rahman, wa anta rahim. اللهم أخرجنا من هذا البلاء اللهم أخرجنا من هذا البلاء سالمين اللهم أخرجنا من هذا البلاء سالمين يا رحيم يا كريم يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نعوذك من جهد البلاء ودرك الشقاء وسوء القضاء وعدال الداء اللهم إنا نعوذ برزاك من سخطك وبمعافاتك من عقوبتك وبك منك اللهم اجعل قابل أيامنا خيرا مما مضى وارزقنا من حسنات الدنيا والآخرة ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم اشف مرضانا اللهم اشف مرضانا ورحم موتانا اختم بالصالحات أعمالنا Please make a special dua for the people uh, who died in a in an airline crash from uh, Lahore to Karachi and uh, number of people Past died, may Allah bless them. May Allah give them the place in Jannah. May Allah give patience to their family members. Um, there was a family, uh, oh, the whole family passed away. Zain, Sarah, Ibrahim, Osman, and Zadiq, Polani. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them. Uh, we also make dua for the shifa of the people, for the health of the people who are not well and also make dua for the people who have uh, the doctors, the health workers who have been supporting and helping during this time. And uh, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless those who passed away. Allahumma qfil lahum ya Allah. Allahumma qfil lahum warhamhum wa afiyum wa afu anhum. Allahumma akrim nuzulahum wa sa'amat khalahum. Allahumma akhtil khatayahum bil ma'i wa salli wa al-barad. Allahumma naqtihim azunubi wa al-khataya kama yunqasawb al-abidu min al-dilas. Barak Allahu fikum. Eid Mubarak to you. May Allah bless you and bless your family. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Dr. Siddiqui. And just a few reminders uh, as we wrap up. The um, uh, for the uh, eat uh, drive through remember en enter please on uh, on uh, from Brookhurst to 11th Street and uh, that will be the only entrance. We again want to thank our sponsors for helping sponsor this activity, and we also want to remind you, as Dr. Siddiqui said, you can still make your donations uh, to uh, at, at give.issocmasjid.org. This concludes our program. Eid Mubarak to everyone. Uh, Dr. Sitki, is there anything else you wanted to say? No? Okay. May Allah bless everyone. Alhamdulillah. Barakallahu feekum. Stay uh, safe. Stay in your homes. Unless you have to leave for some reason. And also you can come by at the masjid, inshallah, in your car. And uh, we'll be happy to greet you there, inshallah. And say Eid Mubarak to you and support your Islamic society, support the good causes wherever they are, help the poor and the needy. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. Eid mubarak to everybody. Wa alaikum assalam.